And that's what comes with the mechanism of action of what's happening is it, it, red and near-infrared light therapy, specific wavelengths and, and combined with the right intensity, um, it, it's affecting the mitochondria. So, cool. so then it's creating, uh, having your body create more ATP production. And then with that, your body is going to do with it what it sees fit. So oftentimes we see folks, you know, buying our products looking for increased skin tone and texture. And what they find out is by doing full body treatments, um, they're getting, you know, pain relief in, in their back. Uh, joint pain in their knees, they're seeing inflammation reduction, um, they're sleeping better, they have increased in energy. So it's, it's incredible what your body does and that's, that's one of the most fun uh, parts of my job is folks buying the product for something and then they get something an entirely different benefit uh, as well as the benefit they're looking for. Hey friends, welcome back. So before we cut back to it with Wes over at Juve, I did want to share with you my personal experience using the Juve Light to increase testosterone levels naturally. And I'll give you some feedback about what my wife has, has experienced since using the Juve Light for her skin health. So back in February, we did a podcast with Ben Greenfield. When I was at his home, he was showing me his office and all this. And I've heard about the Juve Light. I've obviously I've known about photobiomodulation. Many doctors that I've worked with since 2006 have used low level light laser therapy and so forth. Um, so I was interested in it. And Ben was telling me that it's great for t raising testosterone levels. Why am I interested in that? I've been open to you guys about this. Back in college, I did two cycles of anabolic steroids. Since then, getting my, my testosterone levels up naturally has been like on the forefront of my mind because my levels tend to be a little bit low for my age due to how hormones ex used exogenously in that format can affect your hypothalamus. So long story short, I did my blood work before I started the Juve Light, did the Juve Light every single morning for 90 days, for 15, between 12 and 15 minutes, Maybe I skipped one or two days for like filming, but that was about it. I was very consistent because I really wanted to put this to the test. I noticed just energetically felt better, um, subjectively in my recovery from my workouts were better, libido was better. To my surprise, when I redid the labs, I'll post them right here, my testosterone more than doubled. That was the only intervention that I really changed. Of course, I'm constantly trying to improve my sleep, eat good, manage stress, take you know, cold plunges, do all those different things. But, but in terms of nutritional supplements, things like that, I didn't change anything major. Okay. So I've been doing the Juve light since then people have commented, Mike, it seems like you're putting on more muscle. Uh, you know, I get a lot of anecdotal comments. Um, you know, one of my buddies who I only see every like 90 to 120 days that lives in Canada, he goes, you know what, Mike, you just seem less tired. Like your face, you just look less tired. So that's been my experience. Uh, my wife's patients, as you know, she's a chiropractor. And they say to her, Deanna, what are you doing differently for your skin? Your skin looks awesome. And actually, she's doing less you know, things like uh, facials and scrubs and things like that because she doesn't need to because now she's doing the Juve Light. And to be honest, she's a lot more consistent with you know, that than me. Sometimes she even does it twice a day. So this is real stuff. Uh, if you do decide to get one, there's a link right here, highintensityhealth.com forward slash Juve. Uh, we can say free shipping on that. And they do have a new unit. That's cool. I haven't gotten it yet, but I might get it for traveling. It's a smaller unit. I think that's a nice uh, entry point for some of you that are interested in this, but you're not really sure, you know, how it's going to affect whatever you're trying to improve or, you know, cost wise and all that. So keep that in mind. But again, there's some research below as well. If you're a little bit skeptical of the whole, you know, field of study of photobiomodulation, how is it working? We, we do have an interview coming up with Lou Lim over at the v Light, which is another form of photobiomodulation, more for the brain. So I hope you enjoyed this conversation and let's cut right back to it with Wes. Hey friends, welcome back. I'm with Wes Pfeiffer here of Juve and we're going to talk about photobiomodulation. So Wes, I've had a lot of questions. People ask me like, how many times a day do I need to use the Juve to increase my testosterone? We shared some blood work that I did before and after. Um, how many minutes, like best practices, morning versus evening. You probably get a lot of real-time feedback from your Definitely. clients. So, I mean, if we could just break it down for people, if they're new to this, where do they start? And yeah, yeah. So, I mean, definitely. So, what we recommend here at Juve is we, we're, we're big proponents of uh, daily usage. Mm -hmm. So, and what that means is we want folks to be using it, obviously, every day. In the morning, it is best for folks. Um, typically, you know, you do it for eight to 10 minutes per side of your body. Mm -hmm. That's why we recommend full body treatments. You can treat the full front for eight to 10, turn around, treat the backside. Yeah. Um, if folks can't, uh, you know, during their schedule, if they can't fit it in in the morning, you know, we often have that time where we're trying to get to work, making coffee, yeah. and we just, we can't get it done. 
night, night, night sessions are, are just as effective. So really in the day, it's whenever you can fit it in, it works best. Um, I myself and, and the, uh, the rest of the, the crew at Juve, we typically like to do it in the morning to yeah. time it right with that sunrise. Totally, to induce those circadian rhythms and everything like that. Definitely. Um, that's a good point. I have a friend of mine, Tab Furchaw, He's a CEO of a company called Free Fly Systems, and so he's super busy managing a big team. Mm -hmm. And he's found that he does this at night, and it's improved his sleep scores. He's mm -hmm. really big into the aura ring and sleep tracking. So, have you heard that from other people? Yeah, yeah, definitely. And, and, and oddly enough, red light, other than like darkness, red light is the next best light to expose your eyes to mm -hmm. because it doesn't affect melatonin, and it doesn't affect your circadian rhythm. So, I mean, at night, and this is another thing that's great about the Juve, is you can, you can light your house up yeah. with the Juve, so you have no blue light on at all. So, Smart. oftentimes, you know, you have everybody out there wearing blue light blockers, and those are great. I myself have them, but I often sometimes don't want to wear glasses, so I'll light, I'll light the Juve up at night. And my, wow. my neighbors think I'm, you know, there's an yeah. alien You're growing some weed in there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly. That's but, really interesting because yeah. it's so bright. And so I, my drawback to that, so out like before Tab told me about this, I was pretty reluctant to do it at mm -hmm. night. But it's so bright. Like this machine produces so much intensity, which is good. Mm -hmm. But I was kind of worried that it would affect my sleep. But what you're saying is that red light will kind of help to mitigate some of the bad light. Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, definitely. And your body's super smart. So your body is going to take that energy it's, it, it's receiving, and it's not like in the morning you're going to feel an increase in energy. Mm -hmm. At night, it's actually going to help increase melatonin production, and it's not going to affect it. So your, your body is a very smart machine, and it knows what to do with the energy when it gets it. That's really cool. So in herbal medicine and stuff, we talk about herbs like adaptogens, like ashwagandha and rhodiola. Mm -hmm. It kind of sounds like light is almost adaptogenic in that way. Yeah. That it can help to, you know, Paradoxically, it's like how could it help you sleep if it also increases your energy in the morning? Like people are probably confused by that, but it's really, like you said, the intelligence of the body is pretty profound. Yeah, absolutely, and, that, and that's what comes with the mechanism of action of what's happening is it, it, red and near infrared light therapy, specific wavelengths and, and combined with the right intensity, um, it, it's affecting the mitochondria. So, cool. so then it's creating, uh, having your body create more ATP production. And then with that, your body is gonna do with it what it sees fit. So oftentimes we see folks you know, buying our products, looking for increased skin tone and texture. And what they find out is by doing full body treatments, um, they're getting you know, pain relief mm -hmm. in their back, uh, joint pain in their knees. They're seeing inflammation reduction. Um, they're sleeping better. They have increased in energy. So it's, it's incredible what your body does. And that's, that's one of the most fun uh, parts of my job is folks buying the product for something and then they get something an entirely different benefit mm -hmm. as well as the benefit they're looking for. Yeah, it's like a, a beneficial side effect. In, in allopathic medicine, it's always a negative side effect. Like if you take this drug, you might lose your hair, you might die, you yeah. might <laughs> become constipated. But here it's like you're going to improve your skin health, also get more energy, better sleep, everything. Um, so really, I mean, if we distill down the mechanism of action, molecular biology, it's mitochondrial based that's kind of how it's working in time in, inside our body yeah correct correct mm -hmm. it, it, it's it's literally providing food and energy to your cells so it's activating the mitochondria in the fourth phase of cellular respiration and it, it's allowing um, cytochrome c oxidase to pair with oxygen so it's it's creating more which allows free up more nitric oxide into the, into the bloodstream right. which creates more atp production so I, I mean, we, we work with a lot of professional athletes now and teams and mm -hmm. this is one of the base therapies I tell yeah. Um, these trainers and athletes, what you need to be doing is, yeah. is red and near infrared light therapy because it's literally providing energy for your cells to take on the day, the activity, etc. So it's, it's very impactful. And now we live in a day and age where we spend 93%, us Americans, 93% of our time is spent indoors. Mm. That's 87% in the car um, and then, uh, excuse me, 87% in, in, in indoors, like a work environment, and 6% in the car. So that's staggering. So when you can just... Um, you know, incorporate a daily treatment of, of a high dosage of light into your daily routine, you, mm -hmm. you know, the impacts are, 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 are incredible. Totally. Yeah, and I mean, it doesn't obviate the need to get outside. People still should get outside, but this is a supplement to that, especially like now we're coming into the winter. Mm -hmm. And for a lot of people, like you used to live in Minnesota, like I live in Seattle now, mm -hmm. yeah. we, we don't get much sun. And so this, like, I remember growing up, my stepmom had all these different light boxes because she was affected by seasonal affective disorder. And uh, now, like, my wife and I notice on cloudy days when we do the juve, it's like, it's not, we don't feel that, like, you know, feeling like the sky's kind of falling or encompassing and, and feel that, that kind of seasonal uh, sadness. So that's another good tip for people. Um, but you have a travel unit called the Juve Go that's yes. coming out. So we have the big dog behind us, which mm -hmm. I have the slightly older version. Mm -hmm. 
Um, but let's talk about this because I think this is a great like launching place for certain people if they're like, yeah, I don't know if I can incorporate this or um, how it's going to affect my biology. They can start here and see what happens. Yeah, yeah. So this is going to be our, our Juve Go. This is going to be our travel option. And it's just as powerful as our larger full body devices. It's just the treatment size is going to be smaller. So this is going to be great for um, spot treating, on the go. It's going to be rechargeable. Mm. Um, you're going to be able to um, use it by with our Juve app. So you can track your treatments, keep track of it. Um, and it's it's going to be uh, battery powered, so it's, you can just flick it on. And so awesome. Yeah, yeah. It, and it's, it's really great because that's been one of the big things um, most of our customers have asked for is a travel option because yeah. they don't want to stop using their treatments and yeah. doing treatments. So it's, it's really impactful. And this is going to be available uh, December, mid-December of 2018. Mm -hmm. So coming up. By the yep. time you guys watch, I'll put links below this video so you can learn more about it. Yeah. Um, that's amazing. You know, because like you said, you get into this habit, this routine. Mm -hmm. Like you do it first thing in the morning, I do it in the morning, and then now we're like both you and I are traveling. Mm -hmm. I don't have access to this, but I really like this morning really needed it, you know? So that's really cool. And um, what's cool about this is it's modular too. Mm -hmm. yep. Maybe if we can just take a step yeah, back. Yeah. So um, what would... So these are six panels put together, but you can buy guys just one off and start building, you know, maybe as your finances or whatever uh, come together. Yeah, so, I mean, just as we were talking about earlier, we, at Juve, we really, really encourage full body and treating the full body and even treatment. And that's very important when you're looking at a full body device. Unless it's gonna treat your, he your body head to toe, it's really not a full body device. Most likely you're gonna see a, a t more of a bigger targeted device. Mm -hmm. um, so with, with the modular system, you have the ability to start with one panel and build up. So as you can see right here, this would be one panel. Mm. And as, as folks you know, want to incorporate it and get a bigger system over time, they have that option. So that's one of the, the, you know, the, the features we love the most and our customers do is they can start where they can afford yeah. and then build the bigger treatment over time. Mm -hmm. So this whole, you, sorry, I'll cut this out, but the, you can buy the just one piece? Yes. Okay, that's, okay yep. cool. Yep. And then, so you just, but you can buy a package of six together. Yes, just, correct. Okay. There's a bundle. You have incentive to buy them all in one, one unit. Yeah. Yeah. And what's interesting is the kind of the longevity of these lights. Like mm -hmm. you said, you turn it on at night. Like there's, they really will never die at that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the, our, our, the LEDs are rated for 50,000 hours. So if you're wow. using it eight hours a day, it's going to last you you know, more than 20 years. And yeah. most folks are going to be using it for, you know, for max and a family, probably, you know, less than an hour. Mm -hmm. um, so the, the lifespan with LEDs is, is, is very, very um, good. And, and beyond that, the reason, you know, LEDs and, and it used to be lasers were the mm -hmm. primary use of, of low level laser therapy. It's more like low level light therapy now. Yeah. And the shift has moved over to LEDs because they're just as effective and they can treat a larger area. Mm. Um, versus an incandescent bulb, which which it feels good and it's hot, but it's it's delivering wavelengths, you know, from 4,000, uh, 400 nanometers to 4,000. It's just delivering so many wavelengths. With photobiomodulation and red light therapy, it's a very small band of wavelengths that can affect mm. uh, the mitochondria. Okay. So that's why LEDs are, are, are the preferred because it can deliver the exact wavelength yeah. to, to affect that change. Such a key point. So some people have told me like, oh, I just went to Home Depot, bought a red light, and I just use that. I'm like, mm, it's not the same biology. Yep. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So the LEDs are. And then plus, with this, you have the near infrared as well. Correct. And are those LED based? Yes. Yes, okay. they are. Even they though are. we can't see the light, it's still an LED. It is. It is. And, and with the new design, it gives you the option to choose between what red and near infrared. Wow. So you can see with the near infrared, you will see a slight glow coming off the LED. Mm -hmm. um, and that's the wavelength that's penetrating deeper into your tissue to help mm -hmm. with joint pain relief, inflammation reduction. Yeah. Soft tissue stuff. Soft yeah, so exactly. that's penetrating more. The red light might be better for skin, just pure skin if someone was. Definitely. definitely. I see. Yep. Yep. That's cool. So if women, for example, that really are into skin, they could do just all red. Correct. For, okay. Yep. Correct. Huh. And if you had an injury, for example, you fall on your bike or, you know, you do jujitsu, you do all the near infrared and really try and get deep in there. Yes, absolutely. Wow. Yeah. That's absolutely. really cool. And there's timers on this because that's the thing. When I, I kind of meditate and stand in the morning and then I have my phone there and it's tempting to get on social mm -hmm. media. Mm -hmm. So it'd be nice to have the timer just built right in. So you yeah. can just turn it on, turn it off and not have to worry about Absolutely, and, and you, you have the option too to connect to your phone. So if you mm. want to control it all by your phone, you could have the timer running right on your phone, turn it on and off from your phone. Mm -hmm. And if you don't want that feature for folks who are you know, EMF sensitive, we do have the option to hardwire. So you can okay. deactivate the Bluetooth and, and, and totally kill it and hardwire it if, if you prefer. Mm. And the timer still then obviously works. Yeah, like you said, it 
do a 10 minute treatment, 20, 15 minute treatment. I see, is that complicated to do? No, no it's super okay. simple. So with all of our devices, when you're using more than one where Bluetooth would be required, all of them come with the hardwire parent kit. We send that regardless because we want the folks at home um, and the customer to to really leave it up to them of their choice. Yeah. If they want Bluetooth on, if they want it off, it's, we leave it up to them. Yeah. So speaking of EMF, I get about, hopefully the camera can see, I get about like this close. Yeah. How much EMF? I mean, I'm not worried about because I, I know it makes me feel better, but people have asked about that, like how much EMF, and I know you said I think four inches recommend within two to four inches. Yep. So we yeah. recommend, uh, you know, no, nowhere further than six, usually around six, between six and four is, is the sweet spot. And with the Solo, um, we've actually had a, a third party tested and we're, we're below two milligas mm. for, for EMF, which is point, yeah, two milligas, I believe. Mm. Yep, and that, which is extremely low. And, and keep in mind too, you know, folks are not gonna be spending their entire day in front of this. It's a very short, short uh, window. And, and, you know, b below two milligas, I mean, your, your dishwasher's giving off you know, more, more EMF than that. So yeah. it's, and, and we've done, we've taken extra measures by electrostatic coated lenses, mm. reducing the EMF and, the, and increasing the therapeutic output, um, extra coated shielded power cords to wow. reduce. So we've taken a lot of steps because, yeah. uh, you know, EMF is, has been in the forefront of our minds as we move into a world of more technology and everything's getting more Bluetooth, mm -hmm. et cetera. So we, we've taken the extra steps to the folk, for the folks that, that really want to mitigate the EMF and, and, and take that worry out. Yeah, that's key. You know, a lot of companies where they have like executives or board members that aren't into health wouldn't think about this stuff, but mm -hmm. you guys are like in the throes of it. So that's cool. You're already ahead of that when you're building this technology, which is really cool. Uh, let's see, final questions here. So we got this unit. Um, do you guys offer like financing for people? Yeah, yeah, we do. We do. We offer financing. It's at the available on our shop page when you get it. And when you go to payment options, you'll see an option for bread financing. Very quick, you can get um, your rating back in less than five minutes. Mm. So it's, it's, it's super easy. We have great rates for six months, 12 months. It's very, very, very easy. Yeah. Because for some people, a big chunk of money like that up front is tough. So to spread it out over time is nice. Absolutely. It's cool you do that. Absolutely. Um, so you recommend, now so I've seen some people, like I've been to Ben's house, Ben Greenfield, and so he has two or three units, I think, all around him. That just saves time. Mm -hmm. Is that it? Exactly. Because you recommend the front and back. Yep, yep exactly. So, it, it, you know, in a professional setting, where if you, if you have a chance to see some of our products, like Bulletproof Labs is, is a place using our, using our products, and they have two of our two of our devices, so you literally go in and treat yourself like you're in the middle of a sandwich. You treat yeah. both the front and the back, eight to 10 minutes and you're done. That's pretty convenient for, for, for you know, professional setting if you have, if you have the money to, to afford yeah. both. Um, but a, a single panel does exactly the same thing. It's just gonna be a little bit more time. Yeah, we just hung ours on a door in our mm -hmm. house. My wife and I, it's part of our morning routine. She does hers first, I have coffee, then we switch. So yeah, yeah it's great. Um, Wes, really appreciate you coming on. And guys, if you have any questions for Wes, type them in the comment bar below. I know a lot of you have had questions about this. And the link where you can, um, you know, if you want to use our affiliate link, which I would be very grateful, it's highintensityhealth.com forward slash juve. And the links are below. Really appreciate you coming on. Yeah, right? yeah, thanks, thanks so much. Yeah.